in the morning. So I appreciate you probably literally heard zero of that ourselves. <laughs> it's currently 20 past two in the morning. Um, just my alarm's just gone off. I didn't go to sleep till probably like gone 11. So yeah, that's not a lot of sleep. <laughs> um, yeah, my flight is at 25 past six. Um, I'm about to set off now. I'm actually driving to Birmingham Airport this time. Um, parking my car in a car park and I've got to get a shuttle bus to the airport. All checked in, obviously. Um, so yeah, let's go. Um, hope you're all well. Um, please subscribe, like this, whatever. I don't know. It's so early. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Um, let's go to Spain. I've arrived. The car park. Just getting on the bus now. Oh, hi. And just like that. We are in Malaga. Um, I wish it was literally just like that. Um, the flight was actually pretty decent to I was sat in the middle seat with two people inside of me. It was absolutely fine, really. Um, got the train straight into Malaga Central, which like the cheapest train in the world, like 199. Why is the UK so behind on like train and transport and all that jazz? It's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, arrived. Um, just start a little wander around. Um, I'm fearing that vegan options are quite limited here. Um, and if they are, then they're not very well like signed, like, advertised. If that makes sense. So um, yeah, uh, it's actually rained here. <laughs> Maybe she got off the plane and it rained. So I should sat by the sea now. That's the ferry there. Yeah, it actually it's rained and I looked at the weather and it's actually due to rain every day. Obviously I think it's probably one of them where like it rains in the morning and then it's kind of clear. Uh, which is fine, we can cope with that. So um yeah, can't check into my hospital three. It is now quarter to twelve, so I'll probably grab a coffee to eat and then head over and then show you guys my hostel because I'm quite excited about it. It looks really nice. I walked past it. I was like, there's no point even trying really. Um, I don't mind wandering around for a bit more. I feel like if I went to my hostel now, I would probably end up sleeping because I'll pop at 2 a.m. So, yeah, just gonna have a little wander now. Um, just like, come on and say hi and introduce you to this vlog properly since I was couldn't really talk this morning. So, um, yeah, welcome. Hope you enjoy. Um, another little mini trip away. I'm here for three nights. So, it's Saturday today and then I leave on Tuesday. So yes, come along with me and we'll see what we get up to, shall we? There's something that feels really wrong when you're in a hot country and there's like fun Christmas decorations like this. It's like Christmas markets and everything. This which reminds me of um, Regent Street, like the angels. I mean, it is gorgeous, but it just feels very strange, you know? <laughs> oh my god how long have i been zoomed in for anyway <laughs> i'm gonna have to look back on the past clips if i zoomed in because anyway it is now 20 to 7 um i checked in at about half two in my hostel <laughs> And I basically got into bed. I've been awake since two. I'd or I've already done by half two, sixteen and a half thousand steps. I've basically walked the length and breadth. What, what's the saying? Length and breadth. I don't know. Of Malaga. So yeah, I got into bed. I only actually slept for an hour. Um, I've just been chilling. Um, but I'll show you the room. It is literally. <laughs> Look all this little room, like it's a pro like it's basically called a pod hostel. So, unlike all the hostels, I've got my own room essentially. Um, but obviously, there's no bathroom. It's literally a bed. Like, so the door's here, very cool door. You got two little hooks, and then I'm not even put my jumpsuit properly on yet. 
Um, yeah, got a mirror, a shelf, um, little desky area, um, and then here's the bed. So I went for a lower bunk. So then the other person next door, this is their top bunk. So like it's here. Yeah, how cool is this? Um, I think it's literally like the best of both worlds. Like you've got like the cheapness of it being a basic kind of hostel. Um, still really nice though, like this interior is lovely. Um, but you've also got like, a little bit of privacy. Um, like, I mean, I'm being quiet. I don't know how much this is like soundproof. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super happy because one thing I did miss being in Croatia in a, like a room, like a dorm, is having a bit of privacy. Um, not for anything like dodgy either. Um, I just like my own space. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super happy with this actually. Um, it costs me like just less than £100 for three nights. So, can't complain. Yeah, and then you've obviously got um, light switch plug right next to the bed and then you've got some like little USB ones as well. So it's literally like convenience to a T to be honest I feel like this is almost the future I don't know maybe I'm just really easily pleased I think I am <laughs> um by the way I thought I'd just mention obviously um one of my friends actually said to me um because I said I was a bit nervous about this trip she was like are you nervous because <laughs> she's like are you nervous because like croatia was so good and you've kind of got like high expectations and i was like yeah because croatia was so good um and i'm not gonna lie like i've got here and it, obviously it's not the same it's a bigger city very busy um and there's not that many people by themselves or anything like i was struggling to find somewhere to eat i've not eaten since the airport which was about half four five so yeah like over 12 hours <laughs> which isn't like me but yeah i'm struggling i know i could obviously like nip to a supermarket get some crisps things like that but in terms of actual like restaurants there's not a lot for me even like vegetarian options there's not a lot um so yeah it is definitely a different vibe um i feel like i would quite like to make some friends I'm gonna go brush my teeth because I feel gross after I've been asleep. And then I'm gonna head into the communal area. I found that someone just knocked on my door. See you in a minute. Oh my god, so I'm actually dead impressed with myself. <laughs> I've turned my jumpsuit into some trousers with my crop top to kind of like change the outfit up a bit like you can slightly see it but oh, I, feel like, I feel like i feel like a style fashion designer person like, oh. <laughs> right i'm gonna get some food so much drink and um yeah i'll see you soon I say good morning, it is <laughs> it's half eleven. Um, I thought I'd just have a lie in today, I was so tired. I thought Lucy just have a lie in, doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, got up, just been for a shower, just got dressed, and yeah, now we're gonna head out. Um, just some sightseeing. Um, the weather isn't brilliant. Um, I, I looked like I said, and it is kind of raining. Um, it's fine. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, last night I got in, just kind of chilled out in bed to be honest. Um, yeah, oh, I, I don't know why I can't speak today. Um, yeah, I need to go find some food. Good luck, Lucy. Um, although my food last night, I don't know if I spoke to you about it. My food last night, amazing. I found a vegan place called Meat Vegano. Um, I'll insert some pictures because I forgot to bring my camera out 
There was also an amazing light show last night, like Christmas light show. Like, have you seen the Christmas lights at Regent Street with like the angels and like them draping behind? It was like that, but they did music in time to like them turn it on and off. It was so cool. A bit like Feliz Navidad. Um, and everyone was like dancing. I was like, yeah, no one would do this back home. Um, yeah, really, really good night. Um, but yeah, came back, had a lion. So it's really hot in this room. It's like no window or anything. I'm sweating. Um, so yeah, just got ready. Gonna head out and I'll bring you guys along this time. I wish I bought you last night. I don't know why I forgot. Oh well, let's go. Okay, so if it's quiet, I'm gonna actually just give you a quick silent tour of my little area. So let's go. Okay, so there was somebody in the shower and there was um, people in the common room, so I didn't want to film them, so I've just come out. Just, um, I'm actually going to go buy some tights because I'm feeling a bit self-conscious being in a dress when everyone else is dressed in winter clothes, so, um, yeah. Change of plan, I'm going to go on a bus. <laughs> Stuff breakfast, I'm going to go on a bus, I think. Okay, so I came on this trip. Um, I literally was walking to get some tights or some coffee and some food. And then I saw the bus and was just like, F it, let's go on the bus. So, yeah, I'm on the bus. <laughs> I don't even know what you see on the hill. I literally just popped on the bus, to be honest. But, am I okay? I don't know. restaurant that was at last night, the vegan restaurant, it is literally used the smallest little place, it's literally it. Yeah, it's tiny. Just got myself a glass of wine, some water, and then I'll show you my food when it comes out. Um, what the hell, my burgers have arrived. This looks absolutely real. This bun is actually like the burger. What the hell. Yum. These creepy people are so good here. Like they're so realistic. But also creepy as fuck. Like you just stared over and it was really creepy. I didn't like it. Tip I was it. I wish I could tell you what this actually is. Um Okay, it's probably actually really obvious now from looking at it, but it's a Roman theatre. <laughs> Very cool. This is what it's called Alcazaba Al Teatro Romano. It says entry up there, I wonder if it's free. Hmm. But yeah, that, um, I went to the restaurant again that I went to last night, it was amazing. Had a different burger this time. It was absolutely huge. The like the burger bun was two breaded bits of tofu, and then there was an actual burger. So um, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> huge. I didn't eat it all. Um, yeah, amazing though. My face was so good, and then I tried their um, local wine. A red wine that I've never actually probably had red before, but um, yeah, it was bloody lovely. I just tried off them because I realised that I was actually walking uphill and that I actually couldn't walk and talk whilst walking uphill because <laughs> I'm a bloody idiot. But um, 
Yeah, this looks so cool. There's people, I don't know if you can tell, but there's literally people right up there. There. Am I going, am I walking all the way up there? <sighs> Wish me luck. I think I made it. It's just there. Nailed it. The jacket is off. It is warm walking up here. <laughs> the views are amazing though. You just saw that last montage. It was literally like panoramic views. It's amazing. Um, I'm actually quite glad the sun's not out because I'm hot. <sighs> when there's free entrance on a Sunday after two and you didn't even know, you just happened to come on a Sunday after two. I feel like I've just won the lottery. <laughs> Let's go. It's the castle. De Gibraltar or whatever it is. I've definitely said that wrong. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I'm inside a turret. Is that what they're called? Turrets. I'm inside a turret. <laughs> oh, is the enemy coming? This place is huge. It's amazing. And it was free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably like, going to be the highlight of my trip, the fact that I didn't have to pay to come in. <laughs> so easily pleased. <sighs> These views are amazing. Oh. Sorry if you're getting bored of views now, I promise I'll stop. Just sat down for my first coffee of the day <laughs> at five o'clock. <laughs> so somehow that coffee's had the complete opposite effect on me and now I'm really tired. <laughs> um, just about to start the descent back, right back down to um, normal sea level. <laughs> Wish me luck. Just come to sit and watch the sunset. Hopefully the main Christmas lights will be turned on now actually, so um, we'll go and see if we can show you them because they are so cool. more like that back home. It's amazing. I think I'm probably just going to come and watch it overnight if it's a thing to be honest.
mean he could lie with my mouth, but I, I like, I think you mean my smile. Um, and he was like, I see. So, um, his friend was trying to translate almost tomorrow. I was trying to speak as much, like, as Spanish as I know um, to him. Wasn't that successful? It was quite hard work. Um, and then I just carried on having a few more drinks. And then the bar shop. <laughs> sound for anyone that's concerned. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see you on the other side. Um, yes, it is the morning, well, nearly afternoon, and um, I've actually been awake for a while. I just didn't move because my head was pounding, like I was scared to actually get up. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I vaguely remember filming something when I wrote in last night. Um, I look like absolute poo, I can't even cope right now. Um, I intended to wash my hair today and everything, I've just chucked it bloody French plait. Um, I think I'll just wash it later. Um, but yeah. I feel like crap. Gonna go get some food, gonna head to the Picasso Museum today, I think. Um, and then there's that Roman theatre, um, I don't know, see where, see where day takes us, not really here, uh, to, uh, I can't even speak, I can't even, I think, I'll see you at breakfast. I found somewhere for breakfast, they've got all of these, oh, choices of like, Holes. So this little sounds vegan. Get myself coffee, some water. Staring at myself in the mirror, feeling it rough as anything. So um, yeah, I love that for me. This looks so good. It's like a smoothie, acai type bowl, I guess, or whatever they're called. Mm. Yeah. So I've just come inside the museum. I was queuing for ages and realised that I actually didn't need to queue because I'd just brought a ticket when I was having breakfast so um, yeah that was fun yeah so um, I got my ticket so I didn't have to queue and then um, for some reason I had to take my like tripod -y thing off um, so I'm really awkward camera skilling because I don't often film without it so here we are Really, really cold in there as well. But no, it's really good actually. A little audio guide. Little... So yeah, pretty good actually. So I've just come to Al Um, don't know what it is, but everywhere, everywhere feels really like affordable. Like this ticket was three pound fifty or three euros fifty. 
Do you feel like it's really good? Um, it's basically like attached to the castle that I went to yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'm all walking. Okay, so I just got my camera around to uh, tell you how obsessed I am with the orange trees and to show you them and I fell over, like fully fell over, I've ripped my tights and everything. I was literally thinking like, I had to buy these tights yesterday because it was a bit cold and everyone was looking at me because I had bare legs and um, oh, yeah, I really like them and now I've gone and ripped a hole in them. Let me show you. <laughs> I can't believe it. What an idiot. Um, but yes. <laughs> if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Um, unfortunately, some people did see. They did, however, ask me if I was okay. And I was like, oh, that was really embarrassing. And they were like, well, as long as you're okay. And I was like, thank you. Like, they didn't laugh. Well, to my face anyway. They might do later on. So I've just uh, come to compose myself. Sat here with this very nice view. And yeah, anyway, the orange trees. I'm obsessed. They're just so pretty, I love them. And they're literally everywhere. Love. Anyone fancy a bath? <laughs> Pretty decent location actually. <laughs> Surrounded by greenery. Let's go see if we can go inside the cathedral. Just been for some tea and like a little quick side dish at this time, Moroccan type place really good. I feel like the heavens are about to open so hopefully I can get inside. That's enough religion for me. <laughs> I walked around and listened to the whole audio um, of that. Um, I couldn't tell you any of it. Uh, I feel like it's good to go to these things, but it's not actually something that I'm genuinely interested in, to be honest. I can't lie. But it was very pretty, very beautiful. The stained glass windows were amazing, so... Yeah, that was very nice to see, but yeah. In terms of actual information, I'm just like... Mm. Sorry, but... <laughs> just come back to the hostel because what time is it five to six and <laughs> this is such a weird angle five to six and i'm absolutely tired um getting a little bit chilly and i want to shower so I'm going to wash my hair, I'm going to treat myself, I'm going to wash my hair, have a little chill and then go out for food because I've noticed that obviously, I mean I'm not, I knew it, but yeah, um, Spanish eat really late and like most restaurants probably won't even be open now, they not a lot don't open until like 7ish, um, so yeah, I'm going to wash my hair, have a little chill and then go out and get some food. Not sure where I'm gonna go yet. I need to have a look, and then yeah, probably have some wine. Definitely not going as mad as I did last night. Don't know how many gins I had last night. I'm glad I actually feel a bit more human and better now, though. Um, but yeah. Oh, I need to check in for my flight home. Actually, it's just reminded me. Yeah. So obviously I leave tomorrow. Um, check out at eleven. My flights are like. Quarter past five in the evening, so I'll probably leave here to go to the airport at like two, catch the train back to the airport, and then yeah. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, I'll have a little look see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that now, and then I'll uh, yeah, I'm going to check in, check in for my flight now. <coughs> Sorry, and then um, yeah. I just want to show you these pillows, right? They're like full on massive like bolster pillows and there's two of them. 
Like, get, they're so high up. <laughs> I can't sleep with them both. I um, sleep with one and then I could all the other one. Yeah, that's right. Is that not normal? <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna sort my, sort my life out now, so see you later. I'm absolutely buzzing. I've got an aisle seat. Um, yeah, Croatia, I got window seat both times. Coming here, I got middle seat between two people as well. So yeah, aisle is bob on because I always need the toilet. Oh, and also, typical tourist, I bought a t-shirt today from the Picasso Museum. Let me show you. One sec. Um, check this bad boy out. Um, it's it's a bit freaky, but I like it in like a freaky, weird, cool way. Um, so yeah, I got it quite nice, big, oversized. Um, yeah, I was like, you know what? I really want that. Don't don't know. Ask, don't ask me why. It says that on the back. It's like a little souvenir. Oh, and I also got a little postcard as well of my favourite picture from the um, museum, which I'll show you now. This is the picture I got. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it was really cool. Um, so yeah, it was like literally like one euro or something like that. Um, but yeah, I really like this picture. Got my t-shirt. Um, very limited with what you can buy when you travel with a small bag. So um, I've got to make sure my purchases are worthwhile. Um, so that's it. That's all I can buy now. There was no room in my bag. Wasn't even any room for this. But <laughs> right, I'm showering. See ya. I am ready. Um, I've just found somewhere to go. Hopefully, it's not too busy. Um, sounds really cool. I think it's basically like um, a vegetarian place with a few vegan options. So. Let's go. Just arrived here. El Vegetariano de la Capazia. It's a very cute place, very um, colourful. Obviously, it's not going to focus. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I like the sound of all of it, to be honest. Tengo un vino tinto. <laughs> Got myself a red wine. I went for the garlic mushrooms and they smell absolutely incredible. So I went for the vegan mixed platter. This looks amazing. I love when you get that little bit of everything. This is like, yeah, this looks really, really good. Mm. It is absolutely chucking it down and I've not got an umbrella or a coat and I've just washed my hair. <laughs> love that. I don't know if you can see, but I am an actual drowned rat. <laughs> I literally just washed my hair and then it's actually lobbing it down. It hasn't stopped for a few hours now. Um, love that. So I left the vegan place. Ugh. Um, what was I going to say? I left the vegan place, dodged the rain and went for a drink in a bar the service was a bit shit it's a bit tired and thought you know what i'm just gonna go back um so i actually decided to stop at a supermarket and grab some crisps and some dried mango because just fancied a bit of a snack to be honest i haven't snacked once since i've been here and i am the snack queen um i even said to my mom so yeah, I think I'm going to go back weighing less than I did when I came because I've barely eaten to be honest. <laughs> it's not like me but I've, yeah, I've barely eaten so I thought I'd grab some snacks and just chill out really. So um, yeah, I think that's going to be me for the night. I can't believe my hair. I've not got a hairdryer either. <laughs> Love that for me. So yeah, I'm just going to chill out. See you tomorrow. Okay, so I've literally brought one t-shirt and one postcard. My bag's busted. <laughs> it literally wasn't this full on the way out. Um, 
still got like a couple of things to put on it so um yeah i don't really know i've got to carry it around with me all day yes anyway good morning last day um i've just checked the train route that i caught and it's actually something called constitutional day today in spain um, which is a public holiday so i don't think the train's running but i have seen a bus out on my travels so i'm gonna try and aim for the bus <laughs> wish me luck um, i'm just glad that it's like a normal time like in the day where like if i need to get a taxi or something i can um literally this is like just my log um but yeah just gonna finish up back in then i'm gonna go grab some breakfast then we'll see what i do for the rest of the day just stopped up for some breakfast at this place this is literally like i love it <laughs> so i got an orange juice and a coffee and i've ordered some vegan pancakes um what the actual frick look at them Oh my god! Yum. It's time of the trip and it's my last day that I've actually got my sunglasses on. The sun has come out, which is lovely. Um, just typical as I'm going. It's literally been really crap the whole three days to be honest. Chucked it down last night, but we'll enjoy it while we can until I have to go. Um, I've just come to the Roman temple again because I said I was going to go yesterday and I ended up doing the Alcapazza, but um, I'm not really sure how you get to it to be honest, I'm gonna have a little goosey now I think. Um, but yeah, lovely day. Cannot complain. Okay, I made it in. <laughs> that was a little lunch, it's just here. Um, so yeah, I'm in. And it was free. I literally just walked to and was like, oh yeah, and then just kind of carried on walking and they didn't kind of stop me. So. I'll assume that it's free. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, God, I'm gonna make the most of this sun while I can. No, me, I'll probably end up burning though, literally, just as um, I'm about to leave. I've sat on the plane with a red, raw face. So, this is an old theatre. So, this was the entrance. I love stuff like this. Rome is literally like my favourite, just for all this kind of thing, like. I love it. I'd actually have to go back to Rome. Watch this space. <laughs> I'm the king of the castle and you're the dirty rascal. <sighs> I am not okay. I just leant on my knee. That hurt. An ow. What a flipping idiot. I forgot that I had that um, little accident yesterday. <laughs> to uh, been my new favourite pair of tights, but you know, if you know accidents today, <sighs> it would only happen to me. I'd only fall over and make myself look like a massive tit. Can't even blame alcohol. I wasn't even drunk. I hadn't even had a drink. Maybe that's why. Maybe I needed a drink. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> okay, so here looks. Like there's a walk up to like a viewpoint. So um let's go do it. Just saw the old Malaga sign, but the L was missing. That's because you're meant to stand in the L. So I just asked a guy to take a picture of me in Spanish and he said yes. So it must have made sense. <laughs> um yeah, just walking up. These fast stairs now, getting my steps in before I'm sitting on a plane. Oh. Let's do this. It's very wet. My feet are already wet. <laughs> also, just the whole time I've been here, it's been like quite cold, not cold, cooler. Um, and I've been wearing dresses looking like a proper tourist <laughs> like oh you can tell she's you know from England 
wearing absolutely nothing. Um, so yesterday I'm wearing some full length gym leggings, uh, just plain black ones to fly home in for comfort. And today is obviously the day that it's bloody warm. So I just feel like it's so typical. I'm literally my full length gym leggings. <laughs> uh, I mean, I have got obviously all my stuff in my back, but effort. Cuties. Oh my god. They're so cute. Hello. 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 <laughs> anyway, just got distracted. <laughs> I'm actually just at the beach. Apparently this is the beach that the locals use from oh my god, Malagita. Oh my god. <laughs> So I just had to run across the road. Um, yeah, Malagita Beach, so let's have a look, see what it's like. Oh, here we are, typical sign. Everyone getting a picture? <laughs> I am intrigued as to what the water's like. Let's have a look, try not to get sand in my shoes. Could just take them off, but that's too sensible. <laughs> Have a look. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's gorgeous. Casey! Yeah, I really hoped it was going to be warm enough to be able to actually sit by the beach and go in. Maybe wish we were thinking in December, but um, you got to stay positive. you got to hope for the best sometimes, but it doesn't always work out. But I've had a nice time anyway, so. We'll see how cold it is. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty cold. So yeah, no beach for me. <laughs> sat down for one last coffee before I have to catch my bus. I'm getting my bus in just under an hour, so I'm just gonna chill out. I've done over 10,000 steps already. Um, so yeah, just gonna enjoy the last of this. So I'm at the airport. Um, the bus kind of didn't show up, so I jumped in a taxi with this guy who was also at the airport. Um, and then as we were getting in the taxi, the bus arrived, but we got there quicker. And for not that much more expensive actually, so it was actually pretty worth it. <laughs> um, I've just come to get something to eat. Um, I got a hummus wrap, a vegan pasty and a water and it's cost me an arm and a leg. This was six euros, it's literally just a hummus wrap. Like I'm actually like shook right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, this airport's lovely, really really nice. Um, as far as I'm aware, the flight's on time which is good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna eat this, chill out, and pull my flight. Hello, so I basically kind of forgot to film an outro. Um, I was just editing, I was like, uh-oh. Um, back home, in my Udi, it's absolutely freezing in the UK. Um, we're like, I think we've had like minus five, places have had snow, carnage. Um, but yeah, flew, ho flew home, couldn't find my car in the car park, absolutely freezing, didn't have a coat. Um, but yeah, I had the absolute best time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, I'll give you a little quick rundown. So my flights were from Birmingham to Malaga. They were £45 for a round trip. My hostel was in the centre of Malaga called C-O-C-E pod hostels i'm going to check that i'll put it in the description box below um yeah less than 100 pound for three nights it was lovely not so great if you really want to socialize and meet people because obviously you had your own room um 
everything was pretty cheap to do out there like um the museums um things like that really decent um um i can't totally just died on me <laughs> so yeah as i was saying the hostel less than 100 pound for three nights like i said i will link everything below um yeah everything out there was pretty cheap um like to visit wise food and drink was about average for like a city um transport really really good buses trains plenty of taxis amazing um if you're looking for like especially in like nicer months if you're looking for a city slash beach getaway it's a perfect place because it is right on the beach um really really good location for that um and yeah it's really got like a nice like contemporary like cosmopolitan vibe which i really really enjoyed actually i liked um the culture that was going on there but then there's also like some modern touches with like the shopping high street and things like that there's basically everything you need there um if you forget your hair straighteners you'll be able to get some if you forget your pants you'll be able to get some i quite like that um when you go somewhere um yeah had a really really good time um completely different to my last trip but still loved it nonetheless um yeah so i'm gonna close off this vlog i hope you enjoyed i'm sorry it was a really long one again i, put, I tried so hard to get it down because my sister was moaning that it was too long for her to watch which you know her loss <laughs> um so yeah i hope you enjoyed if you did please give it a big thumbs up and drop it a like I, that's the same as a thumbs up lucy oh my god i'm not with it drop it a big thumbs up drop me a comment and subscribe to see more um it's not my last trip i'm hoping to plan some more um probably next year me and my sister might be going away um the end of this month so watch this space and yeah i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching bye